Okay, so in the previous video, we discussed on how to use Python to read an audio file. Now, what if you want to write an audio file? How can we use Python for that? As you could see over here, for that, you would definitely need to import a couple of libraries. Definitely import WaveSteer, as we have discussed previously, when you, you needed import wave to read the audio file, but in order to write it, you also need to import the wave file. Apart from that, you definitely need to import the MATLAB, the MAT file, in order to use sine and pi, because we would be generating a sine wave in this case, so you definitely need to import the sine and the pi. You also need to import PAC. <clears throat> These are the three libraries that you would be needing in order to generate an audio file. Now, you can set your sampling frequency that uh, whatever you want. So in my case, I'm just setting it to 8,500. You could set it to 8,000 as well, or you could just set it to 7,000. Um, yeah, so whatever you want, we'll, we'll stick with 8,500 as we have discussed earlier. Now, in the previous one, we tried to use a stereo file where it was like world channel, but here in this case, we're trying to generate a mono wave file, a single channel one. So the first thing is you definitely have to create the file, right? In the previous one, we were reading it, but now we are writing it. And hence we are writing W. Okay, so W as in write. And we are trying to write it in a file. Now I'm labeling it at exercise 5.fave file. Uh, so you just have to use a pointer WF and you have to write wave dot open. You're trying to open the file exercise underscore five dot wave, and you're gonna write in it with W. <clears throat> now you are setting the number of channels. So in previous one, we did use that software as you have seen over here, like we were using this one where we actually set the parameters that we were, that we wanted to use. Like we, we had to set the sampling rate, we had to set the channels, we had to set the resolutions. But in this case, since you are the one actually using Python to create that, so you have to set your own number of channels, you have to set your own sample width, and you do have to set your own samples per second. So I'm trying to create, like in the previous one, we used stereo where it was two, two channel, but here we are trying to create a single channel. So I'm just writing one. You can definitely write two if you want, if you wanted to write, like create a stereo channel, like two. But we'll stick with one for now. So we'll just stick with one. Uh, one byte per sample as in eight bits. So they always give bytes, right? So we'll stick with one. So if you want it like 16 bits like the previous one, you just have to change it to two. But we'll try to keep it one because we're trying to do eight bits. I'm just trying to show you a little different from what we have done before. The sampling rate, like the set frame rate is the sampling frequency that you just set. So it's up to you, like how much you want. Uh, like in the, you can use 44,100 kilo, 1,000, like 44.1 kilohertz or you can stick with 8.5 kilohertz, like whatever you're using. Now, you have to set the amplitude over here as well as the frequency that you're using. I'm using like a 220 hertz frequency over here. And now you have to use like now you're trying to create the signal, right? So this is what you need to create the signal over here. So you need to set the amplitude. You need to set the frequency. And then you have to use this loop where X A is the amplitude, sine two pi F, right? So A is the amplitude, sine twice pi, the frequency, whatever frequency you're using, and then you're using like, since you're trying to get it in the sign. So you have to use the sampling frequency times the N. Okay, so it will, the N would go all the way from zero, all the way down this N. So this, this is half of the sampling frequency. Okay, so you're using whatever it is. So if I'm using 8,500, it's half of that. Okay, 
so let me just calculate it for you so half of 8500 divided by 2 it was 4250 so you're counting it from like zero all the way down to 4250 okay so that's how you can generate your signal okay <clears throat> now I won't go into much on the pack thing because that I'm trying to keep it for a separate video but then you do have to reference this and you have to write it in frames of byte strings so just stick with this for right now uh, and yeah and then you have to remember to close the file so once you do it let's just save it and let's just run it so you could see over here it definitely was able to generate that audio file if not then you wouldn't be getting this you would be getting an error uh, but if it's working you won't be getting that error uh, and in order to be sure remember i just what i did i did write the name of the file as xss5.wave right so it was over here and it's being able to generate an xss5 this is the wave file that was able to be created okay now once you have that wave file what you're trying to do is you want to use matlab to read the parameters okay so i do have a matlab file over here now how are we supposed to read the signal right so let's just go with this so the basic standard is obvious to clear everything that is over there like so for me i personally try to stick with close all clear all and clc that would remove all the previous data that has been stored so with a fresh start if you want to read a file here the code for by used by matlab is audio read remember audio read would let you read the file so remember we tried to create like in this case like the python code was we were trying to create a file name exercise 5 dot wave so we would try to use read that file in matlab right now <clears throat> so i'm trying to do is i'm trying to read i'm trying to get two important parameters right I'm trying to get the signal as well as the sampling frequency over here okay so when i'm saving it i just have to run it once Okay, I'm not sure whether you're being able to listen to the signal. Uh, I'm assuming that you're being able to re uh, read the signal, but uh, I'll go through each of these videos, uh, like each of these signals, um, one at a time. So let's start, just start with the basic one. So you want to read the file, right? So it's, and you're trying to get a sampling frequency. Remember in the previous video, we set the sampling frequency to 8,500. So you see over here, FS, FS is set to 8,500. So yes, it's exactly what we generated is what we are getting. So we are getting the sampling frequency as 8,500. So remember, if you're trying to read an audio file in MATLAB, you have to use audio read. That's the keyword. That's the command that you would use. Okay. FS is giving you the sampling frequency and you see, as you saw, what it is giving 8500 which is exactly what we tried to create using the python file and why is the signal itself now if you want to listen to it you'll have to use sound sc okay sound sc helps you to listen to that like let me play it one more time i'm pretty sure you would be there's a beep sound i'm not sure whether you're being able to listen to this because sometimes when you're using you're recording your voice sometimes that is a little louder and you might not be able to hear it but yes if you were in person and playing this part you would be able to listen to this so that sound sc actually helps you listen to the signal generated okay 
Now, once, so let me just go to the, okay, let me just run it again. Okay, so fade over. Okay, so it's a sine wave signal. Okay, now when you want to convert it into time axis, okay, so if you want to convert it into time axis, this is what you have to do. You have to measure the length of the signal. So in this case, the signal, as I said, Y is the signal, right? So you have to measure the length of the signal and you have to use one all the way down till N. Okay, so you have to take the length of the signal, total length divided by the sampling frequency. So that will help you generate the time. Okay, so you have to plot, all this remember, plot X axis is the time and Y is the signal itself. So that's why you are being able, as you can see over here, That is your signal, okay? That is the signal that's been generated. Now, if you want to zoom into a signal, right? So supposedly, let me just show you if we, I did not have this zooming option, okay? So if without the zooming option, you see the signal is like, this where you cannot actually make sense of whether or not the signal is a sine wave or not. So, but when you are like spreading it out like this, only then you could see that it's a sine wave, which is not very like helpful. You want to zoom into a particular time frame, try to read what's in that. So hence, in those case, what you have to do is you have to use this command. You have to set the X limit. X limit helps you to zoom in. And at what time? At 0 0.1 second. At with a precision of 0 all the way down to 0 0.05. So what it's trying to do is trying to zoom in on the X limit. X limit is the X axis. I'm trying to zoom it on a particular time, right? So that's why I'm focusing on the X axis. So zero, so this is the convention that you would be using where 0 0.1, you're taking the range, you're reading, you're zooming in between 0 0.1, 0, all the way down to 0 0.15, okay? Because that's what is happening. Like you can also verify it. I, I think I closed that. Bigger, yeah. Now you would be able to, yeah. So you could see 0 0.10 all the way down to 0 0.15. <clears throat> and it's a sine wave, just exactly as we tried to create it. So uh, you would, so now like you can be sure this is how you would be able to read. So in this video, just a small recap, we were able to generate a wave file, an audio wave file using Python. And this is the code he would be using. And this from all the way from here, all the way down here till here is how you read using MATLAB the files. So even if you did not generate it, you could have just recorded yourself like we did over here in the previous one. Um, using Ocean Audio, you can just create your own signal and you can just use the same code, set of codes to actually read uh, through the signals. So the next thing, uh, video, we will try to talk about the rest of the codes, like about quantization and everything. Uh, but for now, this is what we are trying to focus on.